Penolakan terhadap sekolah Kristen di Kota Parepare, Sulawesi Selatan ini murni Kristen fobia dan merupakan penindasan terhadap hak umat Kristen oleh kaum mayoritas di sana. Dan gilanya lagi, intoleransi ini didukung oleh para wakil rakyat di DPRD sana. Menolak pendidikan sekolah Kristen Gamalwe. Kok bisa-bisanya negara tunduk pada warga intoleran dan mendukung penindasan terhadap hak minoritas di sana? Hei, wahai bapak-bapak DPRD Kota Parepare, apakah orang Kristen di sana itu warga kelas 2 yang boleh kalian injak-injak hak asasinya? Kota Parepare ini masih bagian dari Republik Indonesia yang berazaskan Pancasila atau kalian mau berlakukan syariat Islam di sana sampai menolak sekolah Kristen? Anti Pancasila sekali. Pak Jokowi, buka mata Bapak, ini toleransi Indonesia yang Bapak bangga-banggakan ke Siri Paus, Pak. Toleransi dobol, Pak. Terima kasih Bang Tretan Muslim yang udah ikut memviralkan dan terima kasih Mbak Najwa Sihab yang sudah ikut bersuara dalam kasus intoleransi di Kota Parepare ini. I am Jewish. I am Muslim. And we just arrived in a country that likes both of us. And this country you will never guess. It's a country right next to Iran, Russia and Iraq. It is surrounded by conflict. But because of a miracle, people in this country get along, especially Jews and Muslims. This is the incredible story of... In Azerbaijan, there are more than 30,000 Jews and 10 million Muslims living mostly in peace. Here, there is a town that is 100% Jewish. It's the last Jewish town outside of Israel. It has its own synagogues, schools, language, and traditions. In this country, there is a full government building dedicated to religious affairs for all religions. And in the heart of the capital, we saw beautiful mosques, beautiful churches and synagogues right next to each other. In the same mosque, both sects of Islam pray, the Shia and the Sunni. They share the same mosque and the same prayers. This is very rare. In the churches, Muslims and Jews come to celebrate local holidays with their fellow Christians. Did you know that this building, this church, was actually built by an Azerbaijani Muslim? A Muslim built... He financed this and he built this building that we are standing in now. A, a church. A church. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. In the synagogues, rabbis practice their religion freely for thousands of years. He just had his grandson's bar mitzvah yesterday and representatives from the Muslim and Christian community came to celebrate his grandson. There are Jewish schools in this Muslim country dedicated to helping Jewish people keep their identity and learn their language. It was even opened by the president himself. People don't just live next to each other, they also marry each other. Like this woman who is a product of both Jews and Muslims. Hi, my name is Ayla. My mother is a Jewish, but my father is a Muslim. It's not easy, but I'm a living experience of tolerance. It is in my body. Why do you think this is happening in this country? I don't know, but I think that this kind of thing doesn't happen organically. I think that there is something that encourages yeah. people to live in coexistence. Yeah, de I definitely agree. This can't be organic. Somebody has to encourage coexistence to happen. Like, that's why there's a ministry for religious tolerance. There's an encouragement that people should get along. But it's not just that, it's also in the culture. These people have lived here for thousands of years together, regardless of religion. Actually, I think Azerbaijan is on the Silk Road. And if it's on the Silk Road, it means for thousands of years, you have to be open to new ideas and new religions and new people passing by for thousands of years. So you become more tolerant to new people that are different from you. But there's also this kind of feeling that there is no extremism. Yeah. That you can come together and pray and be yeah. at one, but there is no extremism in any group. Yeah, and I think that's really what I like the most about this country yeah. is if you're extremist in your thoughts or your actions or your ideas, 
then there's no space for that. Coexistence requires compromise. All of us to compromise so that we can live together. After five days of touring the country, meeting locals, celebrating traditions, and eating good food, we are leaving Azerbaijan excited. Because coexistence is possible. Yeah!